our old ally is getting annexed today. Well, not full annexed, but, uh, you know, almost full annexed. Rather than these provinces here, though, I think I will take this. Um, I want Isfahan, but doesn't look like it's going to happen. I'd rather have the borders be nice and pretty. Oh, this is fine. Yeah, this is totally fine. Welcome back, everybody, to Antebellum here. And uh, we are the Eastern Roman Empire. If you guys have been enjoying the campaign, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Also, leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about it, because I have been having a lot of fun with this campaign. And uh, there is so much to be experienced in this new 1.6 patch in Antebellum, which if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you check out Antebellum. It is linked in the description below my videos. Look at that. How's that for some growth? The most casual war, like 100% war score right there. Now, Georgia, I want as much trade power over here as possible. So what I'm going to do is rather than going to convert the stuff that has the centers of trade that I plan to add to the trade company here. So these two here, the rest will be cored up and uh, those conversions will be nice and quick as well. Yeah. Does it say? Yeah. 10 months. So very reasonable, I think. And, uh, that will allow us to get that added to the trade company and start steering even more money, even quicker. We're super close to the Latas Samos as we'll get it here in five years. Assuming I don't conquer too much land too fast. So we're going to have about 60,000 men over here. Definitely more than we need. Lafayre's Memento. Beautiful song. All right. So these guys up here. Now, as soon as I'm done with these cores, I want to attack these guys, but I'm in no major rush. So suppress rebels for now. This land is all literal garbage whenever it comes to... Uh, Holding on to that stuff. It's fine. Dun, 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 dun. I love the soundtrack for Antebellum. I cannot state it enough. We need to keep building these buildings, though. We got to micro the uh, overextension or else, you know, we're not allowed to have fun anymore. Or not overextension, the governing capacity. Tehran gets local goods produced and trade value for 10 years. Not bad. That's great, because I plan to add you to a trade company. Your numbers are not very good right now, but they will soon be good. Look at all the trade goods over here. Like, so much good cloth, silk, all that stuff. And then um, we got paper. Yes. As, we, as we add these to the trade companies, which I will, uh, you know, governing capacity allowing, as well as getting it all converted. Because when it's the wrong religion, it gets some malices. Goods produced minus 40%. Now, if you add it to a trade company, it doesn't get those malices anymore. Um... Give less tax and manpower, increases value for trade. So the goods produced goes back up, but we can convert. We have, uh, we're making it, it's going by very quickly for us. So there's no reason not to. So this one has been converted, added to the trade company. This one's been converted, added to the trade company. And upgrade you guys as well. Let's take a look at this. We were steering six. Last I looked is six. 6.3. Upgrade you. It's going to go up even more. Be like seven. Eh, okay, it's fluctuating. There, there needs to be a little bit of adjustments. A couple of AI are probably moving their merchants around. You'll have that happen. But uh, there we go. Upgrade you as well. Yeah, we're just going to have to adjust this. But the goods produced will be able to get that up a bit. Corey, of course. The overextension hurts your, uh, your uh, global trade power, I believe it is, right? Domestic trade power. Trade power abroad is what it does. Which I don't know exactly what trade power abroad affects. Obviously, we have a lot of land in our direct vicinity. Um, I think trade power abroad means in not in your subcontinent. So, like, we're in... Our subcontinent is Eastern Europe. So, I think Persian Levant gets it counted. I'm not 100% sure. I know, like, overseas counts. Maybe it's, like, full continent. I, I don't actually know. If you guys do know how... Uh, how it works like actually knows leave it make sure you let me know in the comments below because i'm curious very good we have tri those buildings there already so let's uh upgrade you look at that almost 10 ducats a month over 10 ducats a month we're now making 104 so as you can see we are starting to really pump out the, the money here and uh, obviously we convert all this why wouldn't we now if we upgrade this heretics is nice but that doesn't help us over here 
And let's see here. Most of the ones over here are for like Muslims. Yeah, this is Muslims. Muslims. This one here is for Coptics. This one is for us. Yearly Patriarch Authority is nice. Tolerance to the True Faith is nice. This one is for Turks. This one we could use, but uh, I don't know. Maybe. Speaking of, I've had this guy on for like this whole time and I have not even annexed the vessel. So let's get rid of that. That's lost. We've lost like literally hundreds of mil mana just from having that on there. <laughs> yeah, we should probably save up and embrace institution and then we can go back to war. These guys here are allied to nobody I care about. They are a subject of Crimea, which is hilarious. Theodoro is still alive. Um, I have claims up here. I do need to take Crimea for our mission here. Now, we're also pretty close to unlocking uh, universities. This next tech will unlock universities for us, and we'll be able to start spamming those out. So let's save up our money, embrace institution, and then build a bunch of universities. Once I finish these cores, I'm going to attack Mazderan and take the rest of the trade power over here because there's a trade center here that we're going to take over here in Sari. And then Shervan is an estuary. Both are very useful. And take a look. We haven't looked at the culture map mode for a while. Oh, baby. We're looking good. That's a damn look, good looking map mode. Let's see here. Yep. Just make sure if it doesn't have culture adjacent, don't even worry about it. Culture adjacent. Venezia is going to be converted to Greek. That's incredible. This one was converted to Tunisian in Rome. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Um, okay. Yep. One more year, and then uh, we'll be able to embrace institution. A bunch of claims over here on these guys, I guess. Do I already have claims on them? Oh, I do. I should probably take that soon, yeah? They're allied to a couple of random peeps up here. There you go. Continue to convert them. And look at this. We're already getting it all converted. We are very strong at proselytizing. Okay. Half off trader. Say no more, fam. There you go. Absolute legend. Let's go with the land maintenance guy. Make more money, baby. More mana and more money. That's a that's a great combination there. So let's see here. Click a couple of these buttons here. Start seeing how close we need to get. I'll take out a loan so I can take it right on the monthly tick if it is necessary. Now. Oh, yeah. Italy being converted. Look at that. Wait a couple more months here. Now, I'm still focused on mill. I don't know if I necessarily need that anymore. Next idea group will be an 18. And we might as well go with like a... I'm really keen on state governance. We could go with trade. We should go with trade. Let's go with trade. That'll make us rich for the rest of the game. So we'll start saving up our diplomana. Why not? Okay, so we need how much money? Yeah, we can just take out one loan. A little more than one loan, I guess. I'll take out two loans. It's fine. Embrace institution. Buy all three of those. Now we are all ahead of time on all three techs. Easy peasy. Those guys will get handled by those rebel stack there. We are... Yeah, we're in a good spot. Let's, uh, let's attack these guys then. They have no allies, which is great. Usually Mazaran is a is a pretty blobby nation. Very good. Let's have you guys head up here. And then have you guys full occupy them over here. And since we have embraced global trade, we have an extra merchant. So let's steer from, say, up here. So we'll go from 11.3. Let's see what, what that change how that changes it. 11.3, 12.8, not bad. Establish Sunday school. Sounds good. So in order to restore the Roman Empire, we do need some stuff in Northern Africa. We need more of Italy lands. All provinces in Italy. Fez, Tunis, Cordoba, and be at peace. Okay. So we don't need Franks, Francia and all of uh, Andalusia, but 
which is probably for the best because that's going to be a huge pain if we needed to get all of Gaul as well. Oh, these guys are absolutely jumping, pouncing. Let's get down here. I don't think so, boys. You got to work your way through my, um, <laughs> my, uh, whatchamacallit, morale over here. That's some good defensiveness you got here. This is a mountain fort. But yeah, we're going to full annex them. Oh yeah, we're going to full annex them. There's no reason not to. The war score cost for other religions is so strong. Holy smokes, man. Now, our interest is pretty high. It's 4%, so we'll, we'll pay back all of our loans then. No big deal. Timurids over here. Do they have cores? No. Oh, not really. Oh, the mighty have fallen. Afghanistan is beefy. Very beefy, actually. Yep, we'll be able to pay our loan off. No big deal. Look at this. 200 ducats a month just from production trade. Who cares about tax? We don't need tax. Taxation is theft. Am I right, boys? Am I right, Marines? There you go. We'll take that. Because the sooner we can take that, the better. I'll even I'll take it way ahead of time. Like, there's literally no downside to it. As soon as we occupy those provinces, we'll be able to full piece them. Full 100% uh, them is what I meant to say. And uh, just like that. Oh, there's a battle there. Absolutism is here. Unreasonable demands. And what in the world? It's saying I can't annex them now. Because absolutism is causing us some issues here. That's okay. So we definitely need to get rid of a couple of these things. Let's get rid of strong duchies. And we need to yoink Crownland one more time. Let's get rid of you as well. And that frees up 15%. And uh, that's good. Now, now is the part where it's a little awkward because we kind of want unrest now. Now, how did I lose that? I guess I'm going to have to go with the uh, war score cost versus other religions up to 15, yeah? Because the Kaaba gives that as well, but we can't use that. Lighthouse of Alexandria gives naval combat off own fort, own coast, which is really solid. But uh -huh. this one we have to embrace Egyptian. The culture is in Le is Levantine. Yeah, so I was going to say we can't even culture convert it. I want that extra missionary, but we don't really need it. Um, idea cost is nice, but it's not necessary. We don't really need it. This one is Bulgarian culture. This one gives religious unity and stab cost. 30% though. Holy smokes. Wow. That is really strong. I guess Sophia's already level 3. Osman's bizarre. I don't think we're going to upgrade it. All right. We get Latasamoa, which will help us out with our governing capacity issues that we've been having. Which is great. That actually frees up a ton of extra admin to core up stuff if we want it. Which uh, we realistically should. We've been culture converting a lot of this stuff over here anyways. So there's not really any reason to not core it up. As admin allows. Because it's not like... It doesn't make sense to trade company it. Because it's all downstream of our node. So then you sort by that. And then we'll core it all up. And each of those is going to lower the autonomy a ton. Which is going to help us out. Look at this. 105. 121. It hurts our governing capacity, but who cares? We have plenty to spare now, right? Look at that. That's so good. All right. And just like that, Yuan... Oh my gosh. Now I can see them. Yuan is very beefy. Holy smokes. They did go Celestial Empire. Interesting. And they're solid. They're passing. Oh my gosh. How are you guys not a valid rival? Shut up. This game's busted. This game is absolutely busted. <laughs> I have a truce to these guys, so I cannot uh, send them an insult. That's okay. That's crazy. Uh, I guess we're not allowed to embargo these guys anymore because they're not a valid rival. Makes sense. Whatever. But yeah, as the autonomy goes down in all these provinces, it's going to help us out with reform progress as well. Speaking of, I know we have the Venetian Arsenal. Naval Force Limit Modifier. Let's upgrade the Naval the Arsenal here, yeah? Right, we're culture converting, so we can't upgrade you. Okay. What is this one? The Walls of Stone. National Garrison Growth.
Yeah, I'm going to wait till my um, absolutism ticks up enough to allow us to, uh, well, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. I guess we'll leave him as an OPM over here. That's kind of stupid, but I swear it said it was going to let me before, but now it doesn't. So who knows? Now, I want to core this all up. But I also want to have some unrest. So we're going to core it up. And the reason why you want some unrest is uh, it allows you to put down rebels. Uh, harsh treatment is super useful. So I'm not going to convert them just yet. We want some unrest. You want these rebels, these guys to get pissy with us. You want them to. So speaking of, let's also piss some people off. Decrease our autonomy. It looks like we can't really do it in any of our provinces that are... Um... Yeah. Well, we'll see what we can do here. Recently changed region dummy. Religion dummy. Convert Sienna. Can I do that? Uh, Sienna. Oh, right. Okay, that's weird. They're not my subject. Uh, have a university in Constantinople? Well, yeah, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Let's pay that loan off, though. And let's build these universities. You want to get five. Because that gives you the age objective. We did not win the religious war, so that's unfortunate. We do not get that. That, ex that answers my question there. So we're going to go with St. Lucia now. Gives the harsh treatment cost, which is really solid. Now, isn't there one over here that gives harsh treatment cost, if I recall? I swear one of these does give harsh treatment cost. I can't recall where it was exactly. The walls of roads. No. The tomb of Saladin. I swear there was one that gave us harsh treatment costs. Yeah, I don't know. Privateer efficiency. Chance to capture enemy ships. Man, this is solid. But you got to be a Maghrebi. Okay. Am I tripping? I swear there was a harsh treatment cost one. Attrition for enemies is solid, but we can't use that. Petra's vanilla. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm not going to convert specifically so I can click. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. Um, okay. So here's a nice little trick. Royal marry your vassals. Hurt your legitimacy. You strengthen your government. Right? And then you say, okay, you know what? I'll royal marry you as well. Oh, hurt my legitimacy. Strengthen my government. These guys already have royal marriages, so that's fine. Now, do I have anybody else I can royal marry? I don't think so. I will still pay for that. It's It hurts me a little bit, but it's not a big deal. The harsh treatment cost modifier is really solid for uh, helping us get through that. So maybe it was a mission here. Leader Diplo skill of at least four. Yeah, you know, that's kind of RNG. There's nothing I can do about that. We'll get it eventually here. And then, yep, that's just going to take some time. Okay. Am I ever going to get this? No. I'm going to give up on that modernized Greek fire. I don't really care about it. We don't really do naval stuff on this channel. Uh, triumph for Egypt. That'll happen. Jerusalem development. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to do this. Okay, that's fine. We just need to uh, need more admin so we can core our stuff up. We'll do it eventually. Again, I don't care about the overextension because it actually gives us a little bit of unrest. Like these guys are likely to uh, get mad. So then I can just, you know, put them down. So let's upgrade our modify upgrade this here. The prestige is nice too. We're locked in at 100, which is really good. It's really solid, actually. So Cairo has not been added to the center of tr or the uh, thing over here, and then Rosetta needs upgraded as well. That will steer us a little bit more money into our home node, right? So we should go up a bit. Now there is a lot over here in Crimea that needs to be steered our way. Florentine, yep, sure. It's a more, it's a little expensive, but 
It's fine. Getting our absolutism up as early as possible is going to be really important for me. Pull you. Yep, that will give us loyalty with them, which will allow us to pull supremacy over the crown, which will actually hurt their uh, influence, right? It should. Very good. So let's recall this one, which is giving them 30 influence. That will go down on the monthly tick or soon after it. Right? It should. There you go. And we can call religious diplomats. And then do this here. Go with the one with the clergy. Luca's orthodox. Uh, sure, I suppose. I can just force religion on them, yeah? Of course, they're in a trade league here. Okay, maybe we won't get it. I don't know, man. Armenian separatists, put those down. All right, I think I'm done with the ones that are expensive. Let's just start converting stuff. All right, now sorry needs to be converted, but we are pouring it first. So we're not going to add you to the trade center just yet. Shervan is being converted right now, and that will increase our money quite a bit. We need to get Jerusalem upgraded. Don't need the tax, so we'll just take this. A little bit of extra money in the bank for us to spend. Now that, yes, right, because I forgot we have this uh, upgrade, or restore the holy city modifier here. Great project um, cost modifier is a nice little, nice little thing there. I don't care about prestige. And we'll use manpower to upgrade you. Missionary strength versus heretics. Core up what we can. Since we're converting it, you know. As long as it's uh, changing, it doesn't matter. Zoroastrian Zealots, I'll put you down. Half off Philosopher. Uh, I think I'll just take the money, yeah? Help us get uh, this upgraded soon. It'll be like 3750 okay? This one will get cored, and then we will convert it. All right, you guys are all cored up as well. Very good. Convert you. And uh, in a few months, we'll be able to add that. So you guys can also be added as well now. Yeah, my stuff over in Italy is getting uh, getting uh, gobbled up by a pirate. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I'm maxed out on Diplomana. So let's do a little bit of development here. Speaking of, I'm pretty sure I forgot a um, this on over here. Let's take a look here. Because there's a few defensive ones that I put on over here. Put you guys on trade power. And just like that, that should get us up a bit more of the income. 114, 116. Not bad. Safe to say 75.3. Safe to say that we've transformed our uh, economy. And we are, without a doubt, the strongest economy in the world. Don't call it a comeback. The Romans were never on the decline. It was it was part of... it was. It's called undulating, right? We, we went down, but then we came right back up. So let's build a couple of these guys over here. You want five for the age uh, objective there. Potential for a large army. We want that as well. So maybe we should start uh, building up a couple of regimental camps. They are expensive though. So maybe we don't go for that one. Trade companies we got. This one we'll have. Emperor of China we're not going to have. We can upgrade it. We can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Neapolitan and Umbrian. We'll get it converted eventually. But at least having it, that gives us an extra splendor per month. Or two splendor per month, I believe. Yep. And then once we get our absolutism up, we'll get more and we'll, it's a bummer. We don't get the religious war. That would have been super useful for that. So yeah, we're going to be getting seven per month in a moment. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe the one for the large, the large army, we could do it. I mean, cost the same amount of money, no matter where we build it. So our force limit is 164,000. That's pretty solid. Now, uh, I don't want to lose trade efficiency. I'd rather lose mana. Trade efficiency is what uh, really pays our bills, honestly. Now, Nizarid's Truce is going to be over here in May. It's going to be May. Now, let's have you guys come down here with a siege guy, preferably. And we will attack them. And we will uh, take their land. And that will allow us to get this next mission here, the Triumph for Egypt. Which will give me a ton of mana. 
yearly army tradition for 25 years. Uh, and if they no longer exist, we gain extra army tradition, which uh, is not going to happen. But that will allow us to start working through this. Now, I do need to upgrade you one more time. So we're going to save up our money now. All right. We have no more unrest over here. So let's just get done do that. But uh, lads, if you're enjoying the campaign, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. We have plenty of ways you can get involved in the community if you do want to. Uh, there's also uh, links to my to my uh, Patreon in the description below the video. If you have it within your means and you want to support content you love, that's the best way to do it. Link is in the description below the video. And uh, that is about all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.